most of the flowers in the garden are either entomophilous that is insects help in pollination or they are anemophilous that is wind helps in pollination but what about plants like these that are present on the water how do these plants get pollinated lotus which remains partially submerged in water and most of it remains above water can get pollinated by insects but what about plants like tape sea grass they remain completely submerged under water wind or insects cannot help in pollination what then what transports the male reproductive part to the female reproductive part well in this case water becomes the transporter water transports the male reproductive part or the entire male flower to the female flower in this case we see valisneria flower see this is the male valisneria flower which gets transported to the female valisneria flower and that is how pollination takes place in these plants that remain submerged under water such flowers are known as hydrophilus flowers where hydro means water and philus means affinity now you have often seen ponds like these which have not been cleaned for a few days and you see small spherical structures like these what are these spherical structures well these spherical structures are nothing but the pollen grains thus facilitating the fact that water can be a transporter for pollination now how do substances float on the water well if a substance is less denser than water then it can float now we've studied in physics that density is mass per unit volume which is which means mass that is spread across a volume now can you tell me how does a small iron nail sink in water but a huge iron ship which is thousands of uh, times the mass of this iron pin floats on the water well this is because the mass of the iron pin is concentrated across a smaller volume whereas the mass of this huge ship is spread across a wider volume thus the density becomes lesser than water while the density of the pin becomes more than that of water and hence it sinks for pollen grains to float on water it needs to have a smaller mass for a fixed volume or if a mass is fixed then the volume needs to grow bigger so for pollen grains to float on water they have modified shape they either become very lightweight or they change their volume they increase their volume so that they can float on water and can bring about pollination